The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White, under the great teacher. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. When true conversion takes place in the heart, it is made manifest in a transformation of character. For those who are converted become Christ-like. Pride no longer lives in the heart. Sin seems abominable. The converted soul hates the thing that deprives his moral sensibilities. He hates that which crucified the Lord of life and glory. Those who are truly converted grow in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as knowledge of Christ increases, they see more clearly where their own weakness lies. They realize the deep depravity of their natures. They understand the strength of sin and know the power of their old habits. They have daily a sense of their entire inability to do anything without the help of Jesus Christ. Therefore they say to him, I cast my helpless soul upon thee. In my hand no price I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. As the sinner beholds the Lamb of God, he sees more clearly what provision God has made to take away the sins of the world. He sees the sufficiency and adaptation of the Spirit of grace for every conflict. The mysterious provision for the taking away of sin is Jesus Christ. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. 1 John 2, verse 2. The true Christian will not refuse to practice self-denial for Christ's sake. Those who are children of God are earnest workers. They are not slothful servants. They are no drones in the household of God. Every member of the household of faith has his work appointed to him. If he is a learner in the school of Christ, he will learn how to give a testimony, how to pray, how to be a living witness for the Master. The true Christian will be a diligent and constant student. He will realize that he lacks wisdom, strength, and experience, and he will place his will and all his interests in the care of the great teacher.